what's going on? My name is Crystal Alexander and I teach people how to make an income from social media. And this is one of the ways that I do that. So today we are making a cake batter truffle. Um, there is candy everywhere in my house right now. <laughs> everywhere like we got so much candy last night it's crazy and i am trying to avoid it so we're gonna make like a sweet dessert um because dessert before dinner is always a great idea so we're gonna make a cake batter truffle very easy um and hopefully something we haven't done before if you do hop on live please say hello let me know you're here and if you catch the replay please drop the word replay and if you love dessert before dinner which we really don't do very often just put me in the comments below okay first up one egg it's like four ingredients it's the easiest dessert ever and if you um, have never heard of a chaffle, basically it's a cheese and egg waffle, which sounds terrible when you're talking about dessert, but I have made so many combinations, it's like delicious. So if you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. Um, so we're gonna do that together. So with one egg, we're gonna do one tablespoon, if I can open this, of sugar-free, um, vanilla or cheesecake jello. Either one. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of this. Okay. And I actually have this recipe linked in the description of this video for you already. It goes direct to that recipe. Um, it's also in my group, so if you're not in there, drop the word group and I'll add you. There's a full cookbook in the group with all chaffle recipes. So like I said, drop group if you're not in there, but otherwise the link right to my website with this specific this specific recipe is in the description of this video. What do we got here? Vanilla, sugar-free jello, one tablespoon. I'm gonna set that to the side, okay? And we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of cake batter flavoring. We're gonna mix that together. The trick to truffles is to do pretty much every single ingredient and add the cheese last. So any truffle you're making, the trick is to add the cheese very last. Okay, so let's mix this up. Best we can, and then we're gonna add a half a cup of mozzarella. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I was actually at the store today and I was like, I should get a new whisk. They broke my whisk the other day. Did I tell you guys that? And someone laughed. They're like, how do you break a whisk? And probably because I tend to use things until they die. Like I don't, I'm so bad about like buying new stuff. Is anyone else like that? But I should have got one today when I was at the store and I forgot. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, so let's do a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. We're gonna mix all that up. This will make two waffles. Chaffles, cheese waffles. There we go. It doesn't look appealing, but it is delicious. Smells very good. Okay, so there's the mixture. Like I said, doesn't look super appealing. <laughs> hi, Debbie. Hi, Tara. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Connie. Thank you for hopping on. So we're going to put half of that into the mini waffle maker here. Oops, there we go. Kind of spread it out. We're gonna close that and we're gonna let it go for a few minutes. I'm actually gonna stay on here with you guys. Um, hopefully, uh, this just takes a couple minutes because I want to show you the final product. Uh, so when that is done, 
you can sprinkle it with a little bit of, this is keto, low carb, like if you're watching your sugars, um, this is the brand that I love. Um, this is powdered monk fruit sweetener. This brand has regular monk fruit sweetener, like a brown sugar blend sweetener. Uh, this is my favorite, um, which this is linked in the, in the recipe as well in case you've never seen it before, but we're gonna do this powdered sugar right on top. So good. So yeah, if you're on, maybe tell me, are you um, low carb? Are you looking for just more easy recipes? Um, are you looking um, to build an income on social media? Tell me in the comments what brought you to my page. I would love to know. Hello, Sanders. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you for hopping on. Yes, pop in the comments what brought you this way. I'm impatient, I'm like the worst. I open up the waffle maker like 14 times when I'm cooking and I'm not live. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mini waffles are almost like big waffles, <laughs> almost. Um, we are making a chaffle, so a mini waffle, like a dessert one. Um, so it is a cake batter chaffle, it was one egg. Um, a tablespoon of sugar-free jello, half a cup of cheese, mozzarella, and a quarter teaspoon cake batter. If you are watching over on TikTok, if you go to the link in my bio, recent recipes are listed there and everything I cook is right there. Almost. Um, oh yay, Jamie's getting her cast off. Kathy, trying to, to decide if you could do what? I would love to know. Because we aren't, we're not keto, we're not low carb. We just eat the best we can. I try to avoid sugars as much as I can. Um, when I was doing low carb and when I did keto for like a really short period of time, um, I just realized how much sugars messed up my body. So that I've switched to these sweeteners no matter what. Um, so I have a lot of like keto and low carb recipes that are in our group too. So if you're not in there, drop group, but like the majority of my cooking is just recipes that my whole family will love. Um, and just healthy living to the best of our ability. I hope that makes sense. So. Okay. One more minute. Again, it does not look appealing. <laughs> but it is delicious. Delicious. Hello. How's everyone doing on this Tuesday? We have like um, called the Halloween hangover, right? Because so much effort and work goes into like leading up to Halloween, um, getting everyone ready and like so much fun last night, uh, stayed up a little bit later. And then today we're just like, catching up so does anyone else have that like the we call it the halloween hangover okay perfect let's pull this out you're gonna be like that does not look like a dessert crystal i promise you it is okay spread this out again Yes, hello. I'm so glad to hear it. Okay, so this, super hot. This is the final product here. So like I said, it may not look like a dessert, but it is definitely a dessert and it is so good. I'm gonna, I wanna take a picture of this. I'm gonna make a TikTok as well. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna just take a small bite so that you guys can see. Um, but then I, to, I don't want to eat all of it because I'm going to take a quick picture once I have both all done. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. So 
a little hot. So good. Hits the spot. Hits the spot. So if this sounds good to you, share this video out. Please drop the word shared. I would greatly appreciate that. If you're watching over on TikTok, follow along. I do a ton of cooking videos, um, family friendly. <clears throat> um, and as soon as I get off of here, I will follow you back. Uh, and if you want to be notified when I go live, tap the screen right up here in the corner. There'll be three dots. Click those, click follow, or simply send me a friend request and you should always be notified when I go live. Um, I'm just reading Kathy's message. <clears throat> Kathy, anyone can have a business on social media. I will tell you that. Here's the thing. I'll keep an eye on this and I'll I'll end with this because it's such a great comment um, and it's probably people's biggest concern. My biggest concern when I first got started was I didn't want to share everything on social media. This may shock you. I don't. I share parts of my life. I don't share everything about my life. Um, for me, I'm a super private person. So even like getting out there a little bit, it's been like baby steps to put myself out there. Okay. Some people can share everything. It doesn't bother them. It's just maybe it was the way I, ra I was raised. I don't know. Um, it's having the confidence to do one thing at a time. Um, and putting it on social media, people's biggest concern is like their family and friends. And they're not going to be the people that support you or buy from you usually anyway. That may sound mean, but it's kind of, it's the truth. Um, you, uh, or maybe you do, maybe you're going to have friends and family who are going to support you, but it kind of just, uh, depends. Um, so it just like, you have to make that decision and do what you feel comfortable with. Uh, right now, a lot of people could use extra income. I gotta check this. Oh, we got stuck this time. One more. I think it's done. Um, a lot of people right now could use extra income and it's nice, put that to the side here, um, to not have to leave the house in order to do that. The holidays are coming. It's November 1st. I feel like Christmas is tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And to have the ability to make an extra income from home without having to take on that second job or anything like that from social media is amazing. And there's multiple ways that you can earn. So I'm glad you made that comment. Um, if you ever want to have a one on one conversation about it, please send me a message. I'm super happy to help. Um, and if you're curious about what we're talking about and growing a business on social media and making an income from here, please drop the word business and I will give you all the information uh, and you can do with it what you want. If you do decide to join us, um, we'll teach you and we'll coach you on how to do that. So uh, I do hope you guys try this truffle because it is delicious. Uh, totally hits the spot um, when you're looking for something sweet and trying not to, oh, no, it's right here, see? And you're trying not to eat this. I don't wanna eat all of this, <laughs> okay? So hopefully, hopefully this helps you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.